what's up it's a sunny day in seattle we're hanging out at my mom's house pretty much just been chilling since we've been back in the states and transitioning to the time change and while we've been here my mom has been teaching us how to cook uh, the other day she showed us how to make some lettuce wraps and then some crab curry fried then, spring rolls uh, some fried spring rolls uh, among some other things today uh, we're making some sinhang. Well, actually, my mom prepared it last night and set it out to dry. What's so, sinhang? Uh, sinhang is beef jerky. Uh, uh, sinhang is Lao for beef jerky, and it is sun dried actually. So uh, we're out here just flipping it, and uh, probably give it like another couple of days. So it's a sunny, sunny day, and I have a bit of laryngitis right now. That's why I sound kind of crazy. But look at all this beef here she set it out yesterday and because it's sunny it looks like it's looks like it's drying out pretty fast hey and just in case you didn't know we were in america look at that flag america america yep all right the next order of business is to make kopiak sen which is like a lao udon noodle soup uh, so it's a mixture of it's like a rice flour and tapioca uh, type of noodle. My mom is gonna teach us how to make it now. Add the rice flour, and then some tapioca starch. We'll add a little bit of salt for a little bit of flavor. Oh, my sister's here too. She's making some spring rolls. Mix up. Add hot water. She has no idea how much water goes in there. It's all by eye. Look at them chef skills. Good job, lady. All right, mom is going to explain what she's doing in Lao, and I will try my best to interpret it. <laughs> Yeah, feel it to see if it's soft. We're good. Matt, how long do you have to mix it for? 20 minutes. Add a little more water. The kneading is done, now we gotta do the fluff test. My mom says if you push it and it comes back up, then it's good to go. Oh, fluff test. Oh crap. Yeah, they came up enough, we're good. Time to cut the dough into new doughs. Before she started, she threw some flour onto the cutting board so that the dough doesn't stick. And then she grabbed a, like a, fist full and is now going to flatten it roll it out with the rolling pin look at that pro status all right that cutting board looks disgusting <laughs> that's a refugee cutting board <laughs> it's been through a lot mak noi mak nyai depend on you like it some people cut one by one you see So to keep the dough from drying out, my mom just placed a uh, wet paper towel on top. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot now. Let's see how your boy makes some nudes. All done with the noodles. Oh man, that's heavy. Uh, my pants are all dirty. <laughs> Brought this cooking. Look at that. It smells really good. I'm gonna take that chicken out, peel it off the bone, and then use it as topping. So this broth consists of 
garlic, salt, chicken, and then a little bit of like mushroom flavoring. Yeah. You can put uh, a natural MSG if you want. It's like umami. Natural MSG. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can put anything you want in yours. Um, I think my mom is just improvising with the ingredients that we have at home. But it smells really good. Copy accent is done. I've got my bowl here. Topped it already. So I got the noodles. I put some black pepper, some cilantro, uh, some chili oil, and some fried garlic. Just give that a mix. Oh, we also got some patanko, which is like a, these are these uh, fried Chinese okay, donuts. You have to do this milk, okay? Let that milk, okay? Oh, you oh. oh. Give these news a try. Oh, look at that! Nice and chewy, bouncy. Oh, that chicken is tender. This button cool. Just soaks up all the broth. Mmm. Good job, me. And thanks to my mom mm. for showing me how to make this. <laughs>